we go, fight fans. It's time for your co-main event of the night. It is brought to you by Sand Nutrition. We're scheduled for five rounds for the World Series of Fighting Bantamweight Championship of the World. And now, first, your challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. His record is perfect with seven victories, no defeats. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing 134 and a half pounds, fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand, introducing... Shaman Munayes! It's a hard one. Both fighters are mainly strikers, so he needs to push the fight. Since non-stop coming forward will make it harder to strike with power for Marais. And look for the clinch and a takedown. And plus some ground and pound, maybe. And now, ladies and gentlemen, across the Decagon, fighting out of the red corner, his record, 14 victories, four defeats, one draw, standing five feet six inches tall, weighing 135 pounds, fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the undisputed, reigning, defending, World Series of Fighting, bantamweight champion of the world, introducing Marlon Moraes! Use footwork, be in and out. This will make it harder to be taken down and or countered. Mix up takedowns and strike with strike combinations to get inside the head of his opponent. Your referee for the co main event is Mark Smith. Step back, Mer. We're not coming together. Step back. Janie B gets us started here in the Bantam Weight Division. Mark right, Marlon Marlon and Shaman Marias. Fight's on. Here we go. Having the speed to match Marlon is one thing, but you've got to have the power to be able to withstand because he is going to put a beating on you. The thing is, if he's been training in Thailand, he has a Thai style of yep. fighting, and which is a very slowly pushing pace forward. A lot of kicking and everything is fast, but the movement is not up to par with Moraes. Marlon Marais coming off his last victory at WSOF 18. And that was a very hard fought win. Went the distance against Josh Hill, a Canadian. Very tough. Yeah, especially the first round. Hill came out, ooh, swinging. Connected him. Connected with a few big shots. We saw Marais. Oh, nice. A little bit of a slip there. Marlon comes up with a nice left that connects. So Marlon Marais in the blue, Shaman in the white, and for purposes of not to confuse the fans, we will refer to the fighters as Marlon and Shaman. Shaman got it down really, really nice left hook. Well, you, you can sense the mutual respect of each other's speed. Marlon coming forward, continuing to throw combinations. Shaman gets on his horse, gets out of the way. Nice body shot. Moraz tried to counter that left hook to the floor today. Nice high kick. It was in the neck. It didn't pull through though. It's the foot setting. Step a little bit more to the right. And Marlon, one of the most patient fighters we've seen in a long time, especially as a champion in the World Series of Fighting. But even he has his limits. He likes to push the pace. He likes to go quickly. And so if this thing slows down too much, he's going to probably pick up the pace a little bit and make Shaman defend at that speed. That's what he needs to do. Shaman already gave a left body shot, left straight to the body. Most of the time, that's the setup. Let him get used to that punch and then suddenly add a right straight to the head. But yeah, movement is key and in and out. This is for the Bantamweight Belt World Series of Fighting. Nice. Step left through. Marlon with a quick left and he snaps off. Change your speed on the third. Change the speed on the third. Very nicely done. Damn. Come on, Damn. 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 Side, 
Referee's going to jump in. Nothing happens. They're still dry, they're not sweating, so it's very hard to pull that left arm out for Marlon. Nice whizzer, that's what they call it, that Shaman has, with an overhook. Marlon, let go of the don't know. That's called a whizzer. Bill tries to go for a takedown. Oh, I'll tell you, Shaman Marais doing a great job on the takedown defense. Yeah, very strong hips. Coming up on a minute to go, this one's scheduled for five rounds in the World Series of Fighting. This is for the Phantom Weight Belt. Keep those up, Shaman. Keep those up. Are you good, Marlon? Good? Good? Keep those up. Fight! I like that combination, left it to the head and right to the body. That's a prelim. Very good combination to throw. Nice to show us left there for the solar flexes. You should do it a few times and get used to it. And it's over the right hand on top. Final 10 seconds here, round number one. This one's scheduled for five. Marlon and Shaman doing battle in Las Vegas. We'll go to the second round when we return. Huh. Marlon, Marlon, over there. Boa, boa pra caralho, cara. Excellent. Excellent. You got the towel? I don't think. Keep staying busy like that. I don't that. think Mark got the towel. You're, you're doing great. Listen to me. Don't go high on these hands. I'm here. He's right here. He's dipping a little Joe? bit, so go here. You understand what I'm saying? You follow me on that? Hey, hey, your Jill? shots, on no, no. your shots, just drive your feet. Don't, your, 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 your entries are great, but just drive those feet. Finish all the way, run all the way you through. You understand that? You hear that? Keep the feints going. Calma, He's just calma, waiting to come on. Yeah. Oh, He's coming with lead threes a lot. You understand what I'm saying? Calma, calma, relax. Relax. You're going to be much faster. You're going to be faster. After you throw, I need those eyes open. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, let's go now. Go over there for me. Go over there. Marlon, go right there. Steve, time. Give me a towel. Back at Planet Hollywood as we get set to start the second round of the co-main event for the Bantamweight title World Series of Fighting. Corner, make sure that ice bag is closed. In the blue trunks is your champion, Shaman Marias. In the white trunks is the challenger. Todd Harris, Boss Rutten, and Joey Varner with you. Glad to have you here on NBCSN as we start right, about Fight. to go. The main event, Husmar Paul Yaris and Jake Shields as soon as this one is complete. A little bit of action in round number one, boss. A lot of feeling out, I think, for both these fighters to kind of gauge the speed that they're dealing with. Who did you like in round number one and why? You know, it's a hard one. Both connected with some power shots in the beginning early on. And uh, I think that got the attention. So now it's, uh, okay, we can't make any mistakes. Because shots like that, maybe even followed up with some more strikes, that could be a problem. That could be a loss. There's a lot of respect. Nice right hand there. Oh, hard kick to the body. Yeah. Jim Marias has not had a lot of big scoring hurt, shots, but when he does pass, they hurt, are big. That's it. He's got hurt, a lot of force behind hurt, everything. Go away, Marlon. Go, 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 go. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Almost seems like you can almost frustrate Marlon Marias by slowing things down. It's Frankie Edgar looking on. Oh, the man that works with Marlon. Good angle, Marlon. Don't wait after you throw. Don't wait out for the Durando in the background. There we hands go. Hands up, hands up. Hands up. Santana. 
Yeah. You know it's big. He's first now. Be first. He's yeah. Nice. Lower. Eyes on when you're counting. Eyes on when you're counting. Put the field on. Eyes on when you're counting. Yeah, yeah. A lot of credit to Shaman in the white trunks. He's been very patient. Like a dangerous man, and he gets in trouble there. Gets the he hand a little too low, and Marlon connects not once, but twice. And now Marlon Mariah is going in, wow. sensing this could be an opportunity to end it. They should go to the body now. Straight to the body. Boom! Because the defense will be up, trust me. He rocked him. Ooh. Just gives you an idea of the speed in the hands of Marlon Marias. Bowman Terra laughs there by Shaman as the hands came down and Marlon sought and pounced. You know, and some people will say, why doesn't he go in for the finish? Well, Watch the fingers, Watch the fingers. Pretty much Watch the fingers. four runs to go. Fight. Three and a half. Five minutes runs. And what if you can't stop him? And you empty your gas tank. Oh. I like it. I like the way they're thinking. Don't load up on that shot again. This is a shot like that. When that connects, when you're breathing yeah. in, that's a problem. It doesn't look that hard, but trust me. Once you breathe in, there's no flexing of the ass. It goes straight through. Right. Yeah, stand there. Shaman doing a nice job connecting to the chin with a right. Man. And Marlon just stood there and took it. What a chin. Yes, I was going to say the same thing. Those were powerful shots. Bossy just almost waiting for some monster flurry coming from one of these two fighters that could end this thing if we had a minute to go in round two. This one's scheduled for five. That's the thing. You know, you're on the edge of your seat the whole time because you know that it's one combo can finish the whole round. Keep those up, please. All right, that's twice. Keep them up. You good, man? All right, keep them up. Fight! That's the third time, doesn't connect, but Marlon puts that in the back of the mind that that's available. Oh, that was a nice one to the body also. So just to the defense. Coming up on 15 seconds to go. Round number two. and. Marlon Marias getting some great so points. Shaman. And we will have the third round when we return to Planet Hollywood. Shaman, that's twice you got him there, all right? Look at me, look at me. Keep him up, do not do it again, all right? Coach, make it. Look at me. Respira, respira, respira. Look at me. Respira, com we're losing both rounds we lose he, you need to control he needs to you need to control the pace shame up you lose first two rounds zero to two you need to control the tempo now you need to start putting pressure fake and you need to start controlling the pace Seconds out. Coach, do not talk to me during the fight, okay? All right? Marla, move back. Marla, move back behind the black. Move back behind the black. Move back behind the black. Back in Las Vegas right, guys, at the start round. of Fight's the on. third round. This one's scheduled for five with the Bantam weight on the line. Well, great action in round number two and both fighters as we go into the side of the box. Marlon first scoring some big points there, boss. Yeah, that was a big hand. And he didn't pull up on it. Oh, and look at that. Those two hooks on the chin of Marlon. 
And uh, while both these guys have a chance, there we go. Well, during the break, you or we were able to listen in on Shaman Marais' corner boss, and they talked about him picking up the pace. They basically told him, you lost the first two rounds, you're down 0-2, you gotta pick up the pace, you agree? Yeah, because no, but that's thigh nice style. Everything they throw, it's really hot, but it's not volume. But then again, also, Marlon's not throwing a lot of volume. Normally he throws bunches and bunches, and it wraps it up with a kick kick. Starts with a kick kick, throws the punches. Marlon thinking about a takedown there. Backs out of it. Yep, waiting. It's just a waiting game. Who makes the mistake? Who leaves the strike hanging out there? Who doesn't move in and out fast? Ross constantly moving now. This is his style. He should fight like that. Because he's good at it. It's a shame moving target. Yeah, much, it's much harder, of course. Yeah, to hit a moving target. Shame to cut him off. Push it to the ring, serve an angle. Oh, that was behind the head. I think that hurt him. That's a big overhead that touched the neck. The back of the neck. He's got a good focus face, I think. Yeah, he does. Shaman Rias has had the same expression on his face as he got inside the cage before round number one. And here we are, past the halfway point in round number three. Cut him, it looks like. Marlon has a cut to the right, cut of his head. Oh, that was a big cut. Shaman! Shaman is in trouble! He should go for full mug. Full mug! Marlon has the side control as he runs Shaman there with that combination as both. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's got to keep moving. The ref was going to put him back up on a run. That's what he should have done right away. Full mount there. He takes the back. And, oh, 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 great defense there. Shannon recognizes that he's fishing for that rear naked choke. Hit a few times. This is all about survival now for Shannon. Shannon Mariah is in a world of hurt with a champion on his back. Stop, stop. Let him go. Let him go. You okay, Shayla? All right. You see, the Jace Duke, one little mistake. Then he's keeping the bell. What a showing by the champion. I take it back, boss. I don't think he wants your job. I think he wants to do a little more fighting before he goes into television. Yeah. about it every day improving and the great spine part of the teammates <laughs> just Frankie 27 got years of age and marla marias the bantamweight champion remains the bantamweight champion as his family enters the cage his Get record now 15 and 4. shaman marias very impressive yes he was and a great sign of sportsmanship here's where the fight really turned was on the tip oh, 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 oh. two times. Two times he hit it right on the tip. Took a while for him to get there, but once he took that back, Shaman was in a lot of trouble and it's forced to tap. Yeah, it was under all the way. Full power. Matt, great fight. Marla Marias, still the champion of the World Series of Fights.
Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No. 